Plus I'm tripping off the weed I just fuck flying high, that's where I wanna yeah, yeah, be Yeah, I do it this, fuck this shit, I'm trying to numb the pain Cutting in my brain, can you feel my pain? I'm fucked up, Molly Perks, I'm tripping off the weed I just fuck flying high, that's where I wanna be Yeah, I do it this, fuck this shit, I'm trying to numb the pain Cutting in my brain, can you feel my Yo! what's up guys welcome back again it's king keen and today i'm going to show you guys how to braid your own hair cornrow your own hair for men so first thing you need is a wide tooth comb with wide teeth this is what it's why it's called a wide tooth comb so that's wide teeth comb like that you might want a small comb like this this is called a rat tail comb with a sharp edge on the end this is mostly for like parting and um, next thing you want to do after that is part your hair down the middle. Well, it depends really what type of style cornrow you want to do. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to do basic cornrow back, just two pigtail braids. I think that's what it's called, but two pigtail cornrow braids or whatever. So basically, this is the, um, the way you got to part your hair down the middle and use the um, the wide tooth comb to like kind of like smoothing your hair down my hair was previously already in braids and i took it out all right guys so first off we're going to start off with pulling one piece of hair just a small piece and this is going to be the beginning of your um, braid and you're going to hold it just like that you have to put your knuckles forward your knuckles have to go face forward and you're going to use your um your thumb and your index finger to hold that piece of hair just like this you guys can follow along and kind of like practice as well while you're watching the video. That way it's much easier. Next, you're going to take your index finger, just like how I'm pointing it right now. Take your index finger, and don't mind my fingers. My fingers is type oil because for me, I'm working with like oil and like different products to like put in my hair. But like, then you're going to put your hand, your, hand, your index finger through the hair just like so while holding that first piece of hair yeah i'm going to show you again just so y'all can follow along slowly grab that first piece of hair grab it just like that with your thumb and your index finger knuckles facing forward see see next you're going to hold that hair and you're going to go through it's kind of hard to explain but like you kind of have to watch it, just pay attention closely. Put your finger, your index finger through that hair, and then you want to put your other finger, your other index finger on your other hand through that other piece of hair. It's basically like just a method of just keep putting your, your index finger through the hair. See, I'm going to show you again, so you have to really like get it down you feel me like i want you to really understand what i'm doing so just like i did before grab the piece of hair thumb index finger hold that piece of hair with your middle finger and your index finger and then put your index finger through the next piece of hair because you're going to grab more hair and then you hold that hair and you do the same thing on that side and then you put your index finger through that hair, boom, just like that. And then you hold it with the other hand. And you just keep repeating this process and keep going back and forth, back and back. You feel me? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's really simple once you get the, the, the motion down. <coughs> excuse me. Once you get the motion down, it's real simple. Like, it's real simple, honestly. Like sometimes I'll be braiding with my eyes closed, I'll be braiding without even having to look. Like, you just have to just keep putting your index finger through the other piece of hair. Boom, just like that. You can literally just practice putting your, your, your index finger through the other piece of hair. Because basically what you're doing is you're grabbing hair. You're, you're separating hair, but at, at the same time, you're grabbing more hair. You feel me? This is it again. So just keep following along and try to practice as you watch me do it. You feel me? Because when I started to learn braiding, like, it took me a while. I had to watch mad videos, like, mad videos. When I say mad videos, like, mad videos. 
And like, also when like when you go out, you're branding process, you want to use your comb just to pick, um, just to comb out the tangles. I mean, that way it's easier for you. Just like how I'm doing right now. So basically combing out the tangles so that way, I mean, it's easier to unbraid and the braid comes out more neat, for me. But then again, look what I'm doing. Putting the index finger through the hair. Boom, and grabbing the hair. See, I want you guys to just focus on the index finger, putting the index finger through the hair, for me. And then the, the fingers in the back, the other fingers on your hands are going to fall where they need to fall. And they're gonna do what they need to do, for me. Do just instinct. And don't forget to also comb out your hair, I mean, because you're braiding and you're like, you're kind of like twisting your hair and like, you're creating a tangle within your own hair because you're braiding the hair, you feel me? So like, you have to comb out the excess, you feel me, tangle, that way it's easier for you. And then the braid comes out neater. And you guys can kind of see like the braid kind of form you can see kind of like it's, it looks kind of weird i know because i have to like braid slow just for the um the purpose of this tutorial because i'm trying to show y'all and i want you guys to really like learn and understand you feel me but, like braiding is, is it's not something that's super hard you feel me it's really muscle memory once you get the muscle memory down and you get the motion down it becomes so easy like it becomes so easy like honestly it becomes so easy and now I'm trying to like do it a little bit faster so you guys, got, you guys can see like what's the normal speed to get it done for me. And honestly, like y'all gotta give me a award for this because my arms were burning. My arms were burning, like, and I was trying to braid as fast as I could you for me to show y'all. Y'all can kind of see the braid now, somewhat you for me, combing it out you for me. Kind of see the braid starting to form. Yo, this, this, um, braiding, braiding your own hair is really a workout. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, y'all don't even gotta go to the gym for the day. Like, this is, this is the gym. <laughs> this is your, your arm workout. Because, like, shh, it's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. Like, imagine braiding your own hair. And then at the same time, you have to hold a mirror so you can see the back of your head. You know, how I'm trying to do right here. You know, I'm holding the mirror. So I can see the back of my head because I can't see that. But then at the same time, I got to use the comb, see right here. Use the comb to comb it out and then look in the mirror, see if I can see you from me anything. And, and also angle my head so y'all can see what I'm doing. You feel me? It's like, shh, yo, this is, it wasn't no joke. It wasn't no joke. Like, if y'all could feel the way my arms felt. <laughs> oh, man ridiculous but i do this for y'all man i love y'all so I, i'm trying to teach y'all how to you feel me braid your own hair cornrow your own hair for me because this is quarantine right now like it's 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 really like it, it, it's a it's scarce for like people to be able to go to the barbershop or uh the hair salon you feel me to get their hair done people gonna be out here looking crazy like i'm trying to help y'all like Y'all don't have to, you feel me, pay $40, $50, $60 dollars to get some braids done anymore. I mean, if you, you can do your own braids, if you can braid your own hair, like, it's just so much benefit to it. Like, one, you getting to know your own hair, and you, you learning a new skill, you learning a new technique, you feel me? And on top of that, you save money, like, you save so much money. You save bread, like, I haven't even been to uh, a, the barbershop or a salon in, like, years i kid you not years because i taught myself how to cut my own hair how to shape up my own hair how to braid my own hair how to twist my own hair you feel me and what i taught myself how to do for me i can also teach y'all how to do it for me because like we as men like we should know how to groom ourselves like there's no reason why we should be going around for me and always relying on other people to do stuff for us it's like for me yeah it, it's cool to pay for a service or whatever because that's a business but it's like an independent man is like you it, it's unmatched because you, you can you can provide for yourself there's nothing that somebody could tell you oh i can't do you for me and you know how it is with appointments like people want to they want to they, they only want to do your hair at, on their time they don't that's my brother playing music in the background but they want to do hair, your hair on their time. You feel me? And they might not, their schedule may not always, you feel me, coincide with your schedule. 
or work with your schedule. And like, it's a hassle to like get an appointment, especially these days today with quarantine, coronavirus, like appointments getting booked up, you feel me? Prices getting expensive. Like I heard it's like, like some tr some barbers charging like $45, $50 for a simple haircut now, just cause it's during the pandemic. So on here, basically this is what I, um my braid looks yeah, like. This my, my hair looks like when I usually braid. It's uniform, it's tight. The other side I didn't do yet, so don't look at that side yet. So now I'm gonna show y'all the same thing on the other side. I don't even really have to like show y'all maybe like one time, because y'all seen it enough times, I think. You feel me? So, start out, just comb down the hair with the, um. The wide tooth comb. That's why everything's all uniform. Okay, I see the growth. I see the uh, the length. I know y'all see that length. I know y'all see the length. Don't let the shrinkage fool you. You feel me? Like, your boy, your hair is getting long. Well, um, yeah. Basically, uh, start out with pulling down the first hair. One piece of hair, just like the other side. And be gentle with your hair. I mean, you don't want like unnecessary breakage for no reason. Just be gentle. Our hair is a plant. You gotta be gentle with it. Don't mind my yawn. <laughs> I was type tired. This was like what 2 a.m. at night that I was filming this. All right, so put your finger through the uh, the next piece of hair. Let me show that one more time. Grab the hair with your index finger and the thumb. Knuckles forward. Hold it with your index finger and your um, thumb, and then switch it to hold. It with your um, middle finger in your index, not middle finger in your thumb. And then you have to separate the hair with your index finger. Like, it's hard to under to explain it, but like, when you watch it and you see what I'm doing, like, and you practice along with it, like, you'll get it a lot more. So when you actually like braid your hair, like, I want you guys to play this video again and like play it back as many times as you want, you feel me? And like follow along as you do it, cause like you're it's only gonna you're only gonna get better. I mean, practice makes perfect. I mean, the more you practice, the more perfect you're gonna get. I mean, like I didn't start out as good as I am right now. I mean, like it took me a lot of months to um we have practice. I mean, it didn't take me a lot of months to learn. Like once I actually finally got it, you feel me? Then I just did the motion. I just kept doing it over and over and over and over and over again until it becomes like muscle memory and yeah man that's pretty much it like there's not much more to teach you you, you just follow along you can, i might even speed it up to see so i can see it like in real time but yeah man don't forget to also um comb out your hair get those tangles out now see the other side's already done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where I wanna be, yeah. Where I wanna be, where I wanna be. I'm tripping off the weed High as fuck, flying high, that's where I wanna yeah, be Yeah, I do it this, fuck this shit, I'm trying to numb the pain Nothing in my brain, can you feel my pain? I'm broke up, my lead purse, I'm tripping off the weed High as fuck, flying high, that's where I wanna be Yeah, I do it this, fuck this shit, I'm trying to numb the pain Nothing in my brain, can you feel my pain? This shit feels insane, this pain, I need a break 
Running in my mind, I wish you could relate I'm like it's only me, don't wanna make a ride I wanna get, wanna fuck, fuck me up inside Voices in my head, talk to me I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you It's getting so bad Alright, so really quick I wanted to show y'all um, what to do when y'all get to the very end of your um, hair. If your hair is like long like mine, for me, you're gonna have to like braid your hair at the end like it's a regular braid. You feel me? Because and because so basically you stop adding more hair. So you just braid like a regular braid once you get to the ends. And it's not that much of a difference. It's just you're just braiding regular now. But also don't forget to comb out your hair. Um. Yeah, basically, that's what you gotta do. Come out your hair. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So. So after you're done braiding the end of your hair, um, you're gonna be tired as hell. <laughs> your neck gonna feel like it's gonna fall off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, your hair gonna look somewhat like this, like what I show you eventually. But like my arms are so tired that like I didn't get to really finish the end, so I just twirled it. For me to try to just like make it look somewhat presentable, but that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna go over and do it over again. If you mean the way that I usually like braid my hair, you feel me? This was just for tutorial purposes, just to show y'all. You know, this end, I actually, this side I actually did um, the way that I usually do it. So that side looks better, but this side looks a little bit you know, off. But I mean, this is just a basic style, just a basic way to do I mean, what you gotta do. Yeah, man, that's pretty much it, you feel me? It's cornrow braiding for men. Don't be shy, don't be afraid to braid your own hair. It's cool, like, there's nothing wrong with it, you feel me? It's cool, like, this is 2020, like, niggas braid their hair, like, it's what it is, you feel me? So, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, help your boy out, you feel me? And there's definitely more videos on the way. And, man, we out of here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm broke up, my leap I'm tripping off the weed. I just fall.